The Wild Swans. Once upon a time, there lived eleven princes and a beautiful princess named Elisa. The princess and the princess had a stepmother. However, the new queen really didn't like the princess and the princess. So, every day she plotted how she would get rid of them. How can I get them kicked out of the palace? That's it. That will work. One day, the queen cast a frightening spell on the princess, turning them all into swans. The swans who couldn't speak a word had to leave the palace. The queen also cast a spell on the princess. Giving her an ashen body. After Elisa got kicked out of the palace, she desperately wanted to find her brothers who had disappeared. Oh, my brothers! Where have you gone without me? Princess Elisa was sad. She went to a lake. And washed her ashen body. Just then, when the moon comes out, don't the swans come down and change into people? Brothers, Princess Elisa. So Princess Elisa and the eleven princes were able to meet again. The brothers spent all night making a net for Princess Elisa. As morning came, the brothers turned back into swans again, but they were able to carry her everywhere using the net. Princess Elisa and the swans reached a forest in a land far away, and they lived happily in the forest. One day, while Princess Elisa was fast asleep, a fairy came to her in a dream and told her something. Princess, please make eleven shirts out of stinging nettles, one for each swan. If you do that, they will turn back into princes. But remember this: you mustn't speak a word until you've made all the shirts. If you speak just one word, the swans will die. Princess Elisa woke up in surprise, and immediately found some nettles, and started to make the shirts. Of course, she didn't speak a word. Making the shirts out of nettles was very hard work, because of the sharp, stinging nettles, her hand bled. Elisa, your hand is bleeding. Don't make those shirts. Despite her brother's worries and protests, Princess Elisa continued to make the shirts without saying a word. Then one day, a king went hunting in the forest and saw Princess Elisa. Wow, there's a beautiful lady. The king, who fell in love at first sight, proposed to Princess Elisa. Even while celebrating her wedding, Princess Elisa didn't stop making clothes out of stinging nettles. The people who saw this started to say that she was strange and whisper amongst themselves, "What is the new queen?" Making with those stinging nettles. Yeah, she doesn't even say a word. Do you think she might be a witch? We witch. Princess Elisa couldn't deny the accusation that she was a witch, but she carried on working to finish her brother's clothes. Chase away the witch! That woman isn't a queen. She's a witch. 
In the end, Elisa got kicked out of the palace. The king didn't want to separate from Elisa, but he didn't have any choice because of people's complaints. Even while she was in the cart being taken away from the palace, Elisa carried on making the cloak. They are nearly finished now, just a little more sewing, and this last set will be finished. When the people saw this, they shouted at her even more angrily. Witch, go far away! Look, look at that! If she's not a witch, how can she keep making something in this situation? Her hands are always bleeding. Get lost now! Finally. Elisa finished making the cloth. She began to throw the cloth to the swans, who had been circling around her. One after the other, the swans put on their clothes and turned back into princes. At last, my brothers are free from the spell. Elisa and the eleven princes were overjoyed. Elisa, who could talk now, explained what had happened to the king and his servants. When the king and his servants understood the truth, they admitted their mistake and asked her forgiveness. Elisa became queen again. And lived happily ever after in the kingdom with her brothers.